Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Nuggets News. In this week's technical analysis, we'll check out the big three as well as a couple of altcoins that had some big moves on the good news we had this morning. So before we dive into that, I just want to give a big shout out to one of the articles I referenced in my most recent video about why that Arbor app is so significant. This is a fantastic article that I used and failed to mention um, at the time. So thanks to the Litecoin School of Crypto, check out the articles. He does great work and give him a follow on Twitter as well, guys. So I've got the longer term chart up here. We're looking at this log trend line. Now, I don't always use log charts to look at the exponential moves, but a lot of technical traders are looking at these touch points over the last 12 months. And we did get that nice strong bounce off that trend line recently. So guys, that's just another thing to keep in mind. We wanna be looking at um, and have a feeling for what a lot of other traders are looking at for levels that might act as support um, or resistance. So last week, Bitcoin was trading around 8,800 and we're looking for this wave two lower to complete. If this is in fact a wave two after this wave one off the lows, and now we'd be looking for a wave three. And we've certainly had a good start in terms of volume um, An impulsive nature of that move off the lows. I'll check out the shorter term time frame shortly, but I just want to give you a, a guide for what I'm looking for now. So we're looking for this cycle bracket to give us a push up. This is a really key level here. We don't want to close below around 76.70 where this bracket started. If we lose that level, we're going to be breaking this log trend line as well. I'd expect the bearish action to continue to the end of this bracket and we'd have to start to look at this being that wave five, that negative scenario we talked about. We're probably gonna revisit 6,000. And if we got some really catastrophic bad news out of the G20 summit, um, I think that would bring lower levels, maybe 4,000 into play, but that is definitely not my base case scenario. That's not what I think is gonna happen. So let's have a look at what I, what I think is in play now. So last week I was talking about the psychology of a wave two lower. Wave twos are extremely bearish and we certainly had that bearish um, sentiment. A lot of people you know, getting liquidated and fearing that we're going you know, a lot lower, that crypto's dead. We certainly were hearing all that, but this impulsive move here with, with decent volume is a good start if we are gonna start a wave three. So what I wanna see now is continuation higher and on the daily time frame. I'll just go back to the daily. We've got the moving averages all converging. So that's gonna act as resistance um, right around nine and a half thousand. We've then got 10,000 psychological and this long-term log down trend line. So that area around 10,000 above and below is gonna be a lot of resistance. Now maybe we get up there, we have a pullback and then we pierce through. Or if we happen to get some really good news and some really big volume, we could slice through like butter, but I don't think that's going to happen. I think there's been too much technical damage done. We're in a long-term downtrend line. A lot of traders are waiting to clear these levels here up around 12,000 for us to be in a clear uptrend again. And that's when we would see a lot of volume come in if we do start to form a wave three that would really propel it higher from the 12,000 mark, you know, up towards 15,000. So that's what I'll be looking at if we are gonna form that wave three. It's certainly been a good start. Now let's check out Ethereum. So last week, Ethereum trading around 700. We were talking about if that level's lost, you know, there's not a lot of support to all the way down at 500 psychological or even 450 where we spent a lot of time around here. So we did get that break. Um, we did have that waterfall. Well done to anyone that picked up Ethereum. Uh, under $500 there. And you'll notice that this has lost its 200 day moving average as well. Now Litecoin is slightly stronger than Bitcoin and Ethereum in terms of that 200 day moving average acting as support. But again, we've got a lot of a lot of work left to do to start to repair this longer term downtrend line. Look guys, everything is tracking Bitcoin. You guys know that I think these will start to move independently. We saw IOTA have a, a big move on that um, news of another professor joining their team yesterday that was out of the blue so that's what i want to see more of in the future good coins having good announcements and moving independently rather than just having this huge degree of correlation to bitcoin so a few of the big movers today a misa go i think neo is one of the biggest of the larger cap coins being up 40 percent at one stage um in only an hour or two so 
That shows that the buyers are stepping in, guys. There's still plenty of interest in the, in this market. We've still got a lot of work to do, as I said, but it's great that we finally got that relief rally that the market was looking for. A lot of people have to cover their shorts now, and I think we're going to see a lot of volatility. So a lot of those shorts are covered, but we're still going to see a lot of people battling whether or not we're in that downtrend line or buyers starting to step in if we get some more good news and clear direction even if we don't get anything else from the G20, I think that's going to be good enough to let the buyers start stepping in. So markets love some news. They love a reason to move in one direction or the other. But at the end of the day, guys, you always hear me say that sentiment is what drives markets. And I think we had that really negative sentiment. Um, it feels like we've been in this downtrend forever. A lot of people getting liquidated and giving up. That's the ingredients we need for a bottom. So I know we haven't had as much volume as we'd like. Let's see if we can really step that up and continue that today. So thanks for tuning in, guys. I hope you've enjoyed that video. Please hit like, subscribe if you haven't already, share these videos around, and as always, thanks for tuning in, guys. Cheers.